Hello and welcome to the second part of my firework tutorial. Um, it's a new firework, so uh, if you've just joined and you have no idea what I'm talking about, you should be fine. If you've come from part one, thanks for coming. Uh, you're awesome. If you want like to see part one, then uh, click on the annotation on your screen now, and uh, or click on the description below. It's a um, fast. Maybe, yeah, a bit faster, but not as, in inverted commas, professional. Um, it's not, a, it's it's an okay tutorial. Uh, wait, wait, it's a brilliant tutorial. It's an okay method. It's an absolutely fantastic tutorial. Um, so, uh, part two starts uh, now. The next part of our uh, video, we, well, it's going to be the same video, just uh, different way of doing it is a uh, yeah it's just a different way a bit more complicated and um, yeah so we're just going to make a different uh, different uh, another even another background layer we're going to uh, do exactly what we did before so I'm going to not spend too much time on it view new guide vertical drag that into the center view you guide horizontal drag that into the center and um oop, alt shift drag it out like okay so we've uh, got this to a uh, got this uh, marquee tool and we're gonna just paint our our sparks in and now we've I've already got this set up so if you just to remind you it's scattering stick this at a thousand percent count it to ninety to doesn't matter if you haven't got a pen so um if you haven't got a pen I'm using a mouse at the moment so uh yeah so uh, I'm just gonna paint straight onto the background this time we want to go straight onto this okay so uh no new layer just uh we're going to uh, do this. So uh, what we're going to do is paint. And uh, I want them to be uh, the size of the uh, circles to be non uniform. So I'm going to stick some bigger ones in just to make this look a bit better give it a new edge to it and make it look a bit more realistic possibly obviously if you've got actually got pictures of fireworks uh, then you're sorted I might put up a an image of some of the fireworks I've taken pictures of just so uh, just as a little thing afterwards but uh, if I forget then uh, my bad. So, uh, right. Now that we've done that, we're going to deselect this circle thing. And that was mainly just so I didn't go out of it. I have to redo everything. It keeps it fairly uniform. And we're going to go to uh, filter. And from filter, we're going to go to uh, where is it? Distort polar coordinates. And uh, this right we're gonna have this go to polar to rectangular and you can see what's happened if we zoom out it's just uh lengthen those up and uh right we're gonna press okay and we're gonna go that's uh done something a bit funny hmm actually I think that's what happened Hopefully it's meant to happen because otherwise I'm going to have to uh, do this again. So we're going to go to image, image rotation, 90 degrees clockwise. And we're going to go to filter, right? stylize, wind. And from wind we're going to say uh, direction from left. So it's going to push everything uh, right. And... Uh, we're going to go to yeah 
we're going to do that. And we're going to press Control F once, twice, and no, twice is good because otherwise it can be a bit too much. And uh, right next, we're going to go to a uh, filter brush strokes. Uh, from brush strokes, we're going to go to splatter, uh, spatter even. If this works, it doesn't take too much time. Come on, what's going on? Did that work? I'm not sure if that worked. What? Oh, ah, okay. Yes, it's worked. It's just my uh, you're just taking a bit of time. God, oh, I'm getting a Photoshop CS5 tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to that, and I'll probably bring out a video just showing you what it can do, some of the new stuff, some cool stuff, so uh, vote for that. Um, um, this is this is just to give it some, make uh, the uh, the lines non-uniform, just so that it, it breaks up a bit. So we're going to put the spray radius to 2, and smoothness to 7, press OK, and that's brilliant that's what we want okay uh, now we're gonna go to image image rotation counterclockwise and uh, that's brought everything looking down oh, well yes it's put it back to its original um, now we're going to go to uh, polar coordinates so it's going to be filter distort polar coordinates and uh, we're going to keep it to rectangular to polar so that's what we want and you can see that's put everything out yes that's what we wanted and as you can see that it's a the uh, the effect of the firework is a little better and um yeah i think it's good right what we're going to do is we're going to double click on the, this background layer now and call it layer zero i don't mind you can call it whatever you want and uh, that's to unlock it. And we're going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and oof, I've got this set to a bit big, haven't I? And uh, we're going to take this uh, all the way down to about two and a half. Now that just blurs it and makes it a bit uh, cleaner. Yeah, it creates a small glow around the sparks and the shower and whatnot. Right, so what we can do again is uh, we'll, we will do exactly what we did last time. Uh, we're going to go to New Layer, Gradient Tool, Randomize until we get something nice. I'm thinking I want a pink this time. Proper pink, that's good. From the center with Radial Blur and drag that out lovely press alt to clip wait what's going on oh no wait sorry we have we obviously haven't got this uh, layer going so what we're going to do is uh we're going to go to uh one of these uh blending options and we're going to go to color burn and you can see that's just dropped it on top and I think it looks pretty snazzy that's very nice and uh, that's essentially it uh, well you, you know I mean uh, we you just uh, group these two into firework and uh, drop them into a uh, an image of your choice. Okay, thank you for watch. Ah, uh, brave up. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you uh, enjoy my videos, then press the like button. That would be awesome. If you uh, want to ask a question on how to do something or want to suggest uh, a different tutorial that you like to see, I get it out as fast as possible for you. Just leave a comment. And if you like my other videos, or if you want to see my other videos, press the subscribe button. Uh, look at my channel. I've got a couple of videos out already. Um, you know, if you like them, then uh, 
you know, press subscribe. I try to get one out every week. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching.